Hey everyone, um, we're just gonna wait for a couple more minutes uh, for all of our Humanic friends uh, to join uh, this AMA. Um, so a little more information for you guys, um, a little more time just to wait. Um, so let's hold on for a couple more minutes, okay? Hi there. Um, there you go. Um, so people start joining, but uh, once again, as, um, as of us, just a couple more seconds earlier than that. Let's hold on for a couple more minutes um, so that everyone will be able to join because there's so much information um, to tell you guys about and you know for us to talk and communicate. Um, so let's hold on. Hi there, Hugo. Um, thanks a lot. You can see that more people are joining, uh, but. Once again, let's just hold on for a couple more minutes um, to wait till everyone joins. For those of you who already joined, um, again, if you have any questions uh, prior to AMA or any information that you're here now, you guys can start uh, posting your comments um, and maybe we can cover them even before we start. Uh, because as I've mentioned, we'll have to wait just a bit um, till everyone joins. It takes a bit of time, uh, especially with the lag that all of these AMAs have. Of course, of course, there's going to be lots of information. Um, again, so just, just for you guys to remember that we host this AMAs um, to have this communication, right? Uh, so that we will be able to hear you guys and then you are able to hear us guys back. So that's, that's the idea of having this life interaction that uh, we may be lacking, you know, throughout daily uh, routine. And uh, for those of you who have just joined, uh, the topic of this AMA is obviously uh, the daily routine of uh, Humanic Technical Team. Um, you guys had a lot of questions and a lot of, um, I wouldn't say concerns, but you just, you were just wondering, so how does it look like? How does it feel like um, to be a Humanic developer? Uh, what do we do in our daily basis? Um, how do things happen, right? So from an idea to an actual execution stage. Um, so I can see that more people are joining in now and um, I guess we can start. So first of all, I want to um, say hi to everyone, um, to all of our friends all over the world. Um, I'm glad to be back in here and I'm glad to be talking to you guys. Um, so I suggest uh, structuring our conversation following way. So first of all, I'm gonna tell you guys um, the main, what, which was the main topic of this AMA is obviously how does the uh, daily day or daily life of humanic developer uh, looks like. So what do we do? Um, how do we do it? And obviously, why do we do it? Uh, I'm also going to answer some of the questions that you guys had before uh, before we hosted this AMA. Um, there are lots of questions, uh, and we tried to group them. Um, and obviously, last thing but not the least one. I'm also gonna answer all of the questions that you guys will ask throughout this AMA. So we're gonna pack them and then I'm just gonna leave them to the end, okay? So um, before, before oh, I, I can see people, people are joining. Good, good. So uh, before we start, once again, I also wanted to um, thank you for you guys joining and having, uh, you know, having interest in, in what we have in here during AMAs. And um, what I also want to say is that as promised, uh, Humanic continues to host uh, regular AMA session. Um, so you had a chance to um, to hear and to speak to different parts and different um, sections of our team. But today I want to bring uh, shine a little bit of light in terms of what happens uh, on the development side. So um, as as you know, as you know, uh, development side, right, um, or the development team works very close with the product team. So as you know, um, our product uh, lead and product director is um, Kirill Gorinov. So we work very close with him, right? Because everything that we have in terms of insights from the customer development, um, in terms of the customer research, in terms of how we bring and how we deliver functions, right? To our product, to our end users. So that's everything, that's, that's a huge amount of chunk of work and uh, he handles all of that. Uh, of course, I also, uh, on the behalf of, you know, the technical team, I also want to, uh, you know, greet our new uh, product manager, uh, Max. Um, he's an awesome dude, and I also have a chance to welcome him, you know, from the screen. Um, so as you know, we obviously, we grow and extend uh, all our lines of, you know, business, not just businesses, I would say like, you know, functionality and different things that we touch 
uh, from different aspects, you know, the of possible technical uh, field. Um, that is why Max is, is helping us, you know, uh, on that side as well. Uh, I also wanted to talk a bit more in terms of, well, so how do we, how do we plan things, right? So there's something that we want to deliver. Um, and as we've been talking back since May, you know, in terms of, um, yes, Hugo, uh, yes, I can, uh, I've heard your question. That's actually something that I'm going to cover later down the road. Okay. Um, so how do we, how do we deliver functions, right? So how do functions actually appear on Humanic apps? So something that you can touch, something that you can work with, right? So as I mentioned, everything starts with an idea. And idea, that's something that we come up as a team, or if there's a team member that brings that idea, and then we start developing, we start researching in terms of what should be done, how it should be done, whether the functionality is actually needed and required, uh, not just by the market, but uh, by our end users. And that's where Kirill is working very, very hard in order to deliver those kind of insights. Um, once we identify that there is a need in terms of functionality, that's where uh, development team and product team that start working very close together in terms of identifying the technical stack, right? Um, so that's, that's where we actually start working. Uh, and as you know, we work uh, using Scrum techniques. So we have sprints. And uh, as, as, you, as you've seen in our public roadmap that we shared for the next three months, right? Uh, everything is literally um, planned to have those two weekly sprints or like bi-weekly sprints, right? Uh, we also host daily sessions and daily meetups just to track the progress because we have so many different departments, if you can say so, right? So we have we have mobile department, we have mobile backend department, we have web front end department, we have backend, the core backend, right? We have uh, we have blockchain, we have blockchain, um, which is which is to do with the research, right? We have blockchain that is to hold our infrastructure, and that's the part that I'm going to cover a bit more about. Uh, how do hybrid um, solutions work? So how does our hybrid uh, blockchain work, uh, what are the differences between the other solutions out there in the market, um, what, are uh, what are child chains, or they're also called, uh, they can be called power chains, what is the master node and everything like that. So there is, um, you know, there's lots of things to cover on that side as well. Um, now, it, well, we, we have, okay, so yes, there's, uh, I can see different comments starting, you know, in terms of uh, different, uh, different working methods, different guys. Yes, so we can see that humanic team is growing, and we also wanted to emphasize that uh, technical team is growing, which is which is very important for us to deliver uh, very efficient, very fast for us to deliver again the features that are lately going to be used, um, you know, for you guys as well. Now, in, in terms of in terms of daily meetups, as I've mentioned, we also host uh, external and internal audits, and we're very very excited uh, that we're going to be announcing uh, a bit. Uh, actually, uh, in the nearest weeks, that uh, we've partnered with uh, a very, very, um, I would say, um, solid group for us to perform an external audit. Because as you guys know, there's there's an open part which is to do the blockchain, but there's also the core backend part, uh, which is uh, well, which is developed again, uh, you, you know, in our home. So that is why we'll also be announcing our partnership there, and we'll also uh, notify you guys in terms of how does that uh, thing progresses. So what is the state of the audit? Um, how did we perform? What do those guys think about, right? And obviously, what are the results in terms of what we'll be changing, what we should change? And I would say it will, it will bring a bit more light. Um, I can also see um, a comment from Jenny in terms of an international company. And that is true. So, um, you know, mentioning the development team, our developers come from all over the world. So we have the developers uh, in Canada, in the U.S., uh, in, in England, obviously, in the UK, we have people in France. We have people working from Ukraine, uh, China. We have people working from Thailand, uh, Belarus. We also have people working from Azerbaijan, Russia, uh, Kazakhstan. So it's, it's literally like an international company. And, and that is why um, sometimes in, in those kind of distributed companies, it may be hard to synchronize the working process because of the difference in time zones, right? Um, but that's where this daily meetup come into place. So that's where we are trying to work together as a team, as it is very important, as I've mentioned before, there's so many processes that actually happen, you know, throughout the same time. Um, what I also wanted to cover, because we are very limited with time, right, is um, some, some questions, because I can see there's still a lot of questions in terms of different uh, partnerships, different, um, you know, banking routines. There are a lot of questions in terms of the technical side. So what I wanted to ask you guys, uh, because there are so many questions to do with our hybrid um, structure, 
which is very complex. And I wouldn't want to actually um, kind of chop it, you know, and wouldn't, um, you know, explain on the high level, but I would really want to specify and delegate uh, and really have like one AMA, probably a longer one, where we would be able to answer all of your questions, where we'll be able to present the structure, um, show it in place, how it works, uh, maybe have like a little more insight in terms of how do you, um, how do things interact in our, uh, you know, infrastructure. So if you guys are very interested or, you know, if you want to know more about our hybrid um, solution, um, if you guys can just, you know, write in the, po um, you know, in the comment section and vote for the new AMA um, so that we can host an AMA specifically to do for hybrid solution. Um, so in case you've missed the one that we had a couple of months ago. Um, so if you write in the comment section saying that, yes, I do want for you guys to host uh, this kind of, um, you know, this kind of a conversation, I would be glad to host one. Uh, we're also gonna invite uh, a couple of our developers, right? And um, we can have a very, very um, concrete conversation about that one. Um, now, in a sense, our hybrid solution, which I'm just gonna cover it very briefly, is very different from all of the other solutions is that uh, we actually uh, do take care about the geolocation. So like there's a, there's a bridge between the crypto, uh, let's, let's call it the digital world and the physical world. Um, so we're talking about the country. So um, there were a lot of questions regarding, you know, the structure of it, uh, whether, um, whether our blockchains are delegated and related to one country specifically, and then how do they work all in one place? Uh, now who hosts those kind of things? Now, uh, I'm just going to answer one specific question that, because um, th there's lots of uh, mentionings of that question. Is that um, in terms of, uh, yes, so child or parachain, uh, which are related to specific country, are being hosted either by qualified um, volunteers or if that is going to be required later down the road in the future, there are going to be, there's going to be a synergy between Humanique team, right, which is also decentralized and the government side if, if there's going to be the need, right? So, um, our hybrid solution was specifically designed to host um, and um, handle different needs of people in different countries. And obviously, we're also talking about um, following the, the word of law, right? That is, why, that is why we also want to make sure that everything, every side of the product that we produce um, is actually legal to use, not just, you know, in crypto world, uh, but in, in the conventional world, if you want to uh, mention that. Um, now, about, you know, about different... Um, different questions that you guys had in terms of different integrations, different um, parts of our communication with other companies and, uh, you know, other institutions. Um, again, as I've mentioned, uh, following the next few weeks, there's also going to be uh, some news regarding um, our very, very huge cooperation in terms of biometrics. Uh, because as you guys remember, that's one of the uh, very um, strong aspects that we try to explore and we try to research. And there are still so many issues and so many concerns and so many um, different obstacles that we have to overcome. And it is obviously way better and then way easier to um, come as an alliance and work together on those kind of problems. Um, so that is why, once again, just please follow um, the official news. Uh, there's going to be many things. So unfortunately, I'm not able to talk uh, you know, about them just before our legal team actually allows us to talk about those kind of things because it's very important. Um, there were also a lot of uh, questions about uh, Humanic and Manigo integration that we've announced a bit earlier down the road. So as you know, um, as you know, when we are talking about crypto and fiat, um, those two things, uh, especially with all the recent news, they tend to um, have legal traction, uh, legal uh, traction. So um, there's lots of things that happen on the technical side. Um, there's lots of things that are planned. Um, however, again, it's, it's a process that takes time, right, for us to come up with a product, again, that is comfortable, that is uh, efficient, and that is uh, legal to use for both of our clients. But once again, um, once again, humanic, right? So we're talking here about, uh, and that's something that is, again, specified in my short, right? We're powering the um, unbanked. Um, that is why if there's a, if there's a way uh, to do that, uh, it's not as just, just to do with a crypto, right? We're trying to find every possible option and way and solution for us to do that. Um, as I've mentioned before, I would just like to leave a bit more time in terms of, uh, you know, answering your questions because I want to make this AMA uh, more interactive as it was before. So um, I'm just going to um, come a bit up and start answering first questions that you guys had. Um, <laughs> okay, so, right. So once again, Hugo, 
um, again, I'm very glad that you are um, that you care and then you, that you are interested um, in uh, in side chains in hybrid solutions. So as I've mentioned, so please go ahead in the comment section and vote for having a separate AMA, which would be specifically related to our hybrid solution. Um, you might also have heard about the news that um, there was an independent market research that was conducted uh, not so while ago, and Humanique was announced to be um, one of the you know among top 20 companies um, with uh, with the potential uh, to do blockchain research. Um, so in terms of how you know how far we've already gone and then how far we can go. So among other companies um, like IBM, Microsoft, Samsung. So there's many things, not, 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 even, not even crypto companies like Consensus, but also conventional companies that were among that list. So also, you know, follow up our, um, uh, our official uh, channels uh, for that information, don't miss it. Right, so there were more questions uh, from Azri in terms of the news, partnerships and banks. Um, so those kind of things, right? Again, they're very limited in terms of the legal, um, when you can announce them, how you can announce them. So in, in this kind of uh, AMAs, uh, only if we're allowed to do so, that's something that we, uh, that we would like to tell you. Unless, uh, other than that, please follow again our, uh, our Telegram channels, uh, please follow up our Twitter account, even Facebook page where we are you know, um, here right now at, and then follow the news because that's where the official statements you know, would, would come in place. Um, more questions, more questions from uh, from Hugo and from Azri once again. So in terms of the DevOps, right? So we've also expanded our DevOps team, and um, I would also like to, um, which I should have done before. So there's also Dennis, that's uh, one of our new DevOps uh, people and guys that are um, helping us to manage the infrastructure. Um, in terms of the agile working methods, well, uh, Hugo, that's the only way nowadays uh, because when we're talking about their short iteration. Um, you know, from the design of the ID, I'm not even talking about the actual design, right? I'm talking here about framing the thought that you have, um, you know, in order to deliver that from an idea to an actual product uh, that takes time. So what we're trying to do is to shorten down and cut down that time. So that's the only way to go. Um, yes, so there were also some questions regarding um, our competition, right? Um, so it, it was it was time it was the correct time for us to start um, to start letting the community participating more in terms of the security in terms of um, in terms of the operations of our infrastructure and that is why Hack Me Challenge was announced. Um, it was a competition that never ended actually. Um, it is still ongoing and you can still check the link Hack Me um, at humanique.com. So that's that's the place where you can check the information um, about the. The contest, if it's still ongoing, uh, what are the results? If there are any winners, uh, so currently there's still no winner. So the money uh, is still in the wallet, which you can still um, check, you know, by the by the wallet address. Um, so I just remember uh, or try to remind you guys about uh, the different uh, aspects of the contest, right? Is whoever is actually able to get uh, an access to that wallet, and then we're not actually talking about, uh, you know, finding the hash key, right, of that wallet. In here, we're talking about hacking the infrastructure of Humanique, right? So is, is the entire wallet system, uh, well, that is, that is a bit more complex, right? But it's not just the money that is on that wallet, but it's also the additional uh, remuneration that happens if you actually are able to do so and tell us and help us to uh, find out uh, those, you know, bottleneck problems that we might have. So if you guys, if you guys are willing to participate, if you want to participate, please go ahead where, um, you, you know, you're welcome, right? Um, so more more questions, right? More questions in terms of uh, Hugo uh, from Azri um, about again, once again about hybrid solutions. Um, so let us host a separate session. So I, once again, I just remind you guys. So if you're interested in that session, please go ahead and vote in the comment section. Let's do it because if there's no support from you guys, I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't be able to do it. So please go ahead and vote. Um, that's, that's a very popular thing to say nowadays, right? Okay, um, so there's more, there's more comments from Azri. Um, so Humanic team must think about the bank product, not just the application and security. Um, I'm not sure if I understand that correctly, right? Uh, but 
in here, right, whenever we're talking about the products of this scale, uh, there's so many things to consider. Not just, again, not just the security part. Um, there's also little things that we might think that they're not important on a small scale. But then whenever we try to expand, right, those things actually do uh, make sense on a large audience. So it's not just it's not just the security. In here, we're also talking about the UX UI. In here, we're also talking about the list of the features that, you know, after all, is available to you guys uh, in that app. So there's so many things to consider. And, and little things, even about, uh, you know, even things how we work, even the things that uh, we do on a daily basis. How do we do? How do we plan? How do we structure? You know, who's the release manager after all? And then how does that person plan the releases? That's all very important because it all comes back into one single point, um, whether it works or not, so whether there's a result or not. Um, Nassim, so there was, a, there was a question from Nassim in terms of uh, the price prediction. So that's, that's uh, well, um, if you actually, Nassim, are very interested in that kind of thing, um, I'll let you, uh, how about you join Telegram uh, channel because uh, there is so many other guys are actually trying to build the predictions based not just on the news that there are there from Humanique, but also, you know, throughout the uh, overall crypto market, throughout, uh, you know, overall financial market. Um, there's so many things to uh, consider in here. So you're very welcome to go to our Telegram channel and, um, you know, let us, let us guess and let us actually think about that and let's predict over there, okay? Um, there are more questions about, uh, again, private blockchains and then hybrid solutions. So once again, Jenny, uh, I, I invite you to actually um, go ahead and uh, vote again for us hosting this AMA session, which is specifically related to hybrid solutions. Um, I believe that there are so many of us in here that uh, are interested in this kind of thing. Uh, so let us go ahead and, and you know try to make it real. Okay, so there are two more questions so far. Um, so one from Sergey, uh, in terms of us partnering with UNICEF or World Bank. Uh, so those are, those are very, um, again, fundamental organizations that are trying to solve many, uh, institutional problems. Uh, of course, of course, we, we are very interested in trying to, um, communicate with them and trying to perform different use cases. Uh, because after all, as I've mentioned, right, Humanique has a global mission. Uh, once again, you can, you can see, right, what we're trying to do here in my short. Uh, and as I've mentioned once again before, whatever way we find, right, so whether we work with someone else, whether we partner with someone else, whether we come up with that solution, uh, you know, uh, you know, at our home, like home development lab, let's call it this way. Um, either way, we just want to help, uh, us achieve that global mission that we have. So uh, there's definitely lots of interest uh, in us having conversations with different, uh, you know, with different organizations. So after all, again, uh, it, it's, it's our community support, so it's our you guys that can help us sometimes achieve those kind of communications because it's just a matter of, you know, they say it's just speak loud. So if you guys are loud, that's something that can help us obviously achieve those kind of things. Um, so I'm just going to answer. I'm just going to jump a bit. So Jenny, if you can, if you can just write a comment right here, uh, you know, under this AMA, and if you can say that, well, yes, please host uh, hybrid blockchain AMA specifically related, you know, to this question. So you know, let's call it this way. Let's put the hashtag vote hybrid. So how you know, the more the more uh, vote hybrid hashtags we can have in here, uh, you know, under this post, the better it is. So you know what? Let me let me actually write down. So I'm just gonna post um, post the first one myself. There you go. Right. So the more the more hashtags we have, the better it is. And uh, I believe that the sooner we're actually gonna have this kind of um, <laughs> this kind of this kind of conversation. Um, now. As, uh, so Hugo, right, uh, as I've mentioned, uh, so, okay, so accept, uh, Manigo and accept Deloitte. So what we're trying to have is that, uh, remember about the open API that we've announced, uh, earlier. There are already, uh, numerous companies and numerous startups, uh, in different countries, uh, in different spheres that are already working with our, uh, well, with our sandbox environment. So they're testing, um, they're trying, they're trying, right? So they're trying to, 
work two sides, whether to integrate Humanic uh, platform into their app, so use different parts of it. It could be the authorization process, it could be the biometrics, um, it could be the wallet system, right? So they're trying to renumerate their customers with, uh, you know, within the HMQ token. And we're also talking about integrating, um, you know, different companies on our side. Uh, I'm not going to mention the names, of course, as, as I've told you guys, uh, you know, a bit earlier. But, but what I can tell you is that uh, we're right now working on the integration on our side. And there's going to be an external plugin, uh, which, again, clients can turn on and turn off. Uh, which is to do with additional enhancement of the security. Um, what it what it actually means is that there is a next level of encryption, so that you can encrypt encrypted messages within the chat. It could be anything, starting from the media to transactions, because once again, as I've mentioned, there is going to be lots of updates in the app itself um, throughout the nearest days. And um, for those of you who remember how, um, not gradually, I would say it's actually the opposite, right? So how majorly, if there is such a word. Uh, our app changes and evolves within, you know, not just with the design or within the design, it's also its functionality, everything else. So you'll see lots of updates in the nearest days. Where, where, right? Uh, where we're actually working on on this, on this external feature. So whenever we are um, confident with our partner to announce that, yes, we've achieved um, specific state of our uh, integration process where we've tested, uh, we've had some stress tests, we have small tests, after all, we had the regression test, and then yes, we're ready to actually put the test net and allow it for uh, you know, our test users to start trying it, because that's going to be our first external party onboarded on top of our platform, and, and it is to do with, you know, with the chat. Uh, well, we're definitely announced those news. Um, so as I've mentioned, right, uh, I, can, I can already see that there are lots of, uh, <laughs> there are lots of hashtags, go hybrid. Um, that's, also, that's, also, you know, that's also the option. Um, so as I've mentioned, the more, the more we vote for hybrid, uh, the, you know, the sooner, the sooner this AMA will come in place. Um, I would say it's, it's the time guys, right? So if you guys have any more questions at this time, whether about, uh, again, how we work, um, whether any specific questions, you know, if you're interested, if we are using this or that specific tool, right, that helps us to complete our job. Which could be anything, starting from you know, uh, from the task management tool um, to integrational tool to documentation tool. Um, it could be you know, uh, what do we use on a regular basis? Like, what do our managers use? So, how does that interaction between me and Kirill happen, or with the new guy, right? So, it's a new product manager that I managed uh, that I announced uh, Max. So, how us three communicate and work together? Um, how does our day uh, you know looks like? So, there's lots of things that I can actually um, tell you. It's just that you guys have to let me know if you're interested in hearing that. So if you have anything, uh, you know, on your mind that you want to ask, please go ahead, you know, and just post the question. Um, it, we're always happy. Um, we're always happy to answer those questions. So I'm just going to wait a bit more um, if somebody still has any questions. And then if not, um, it was, again, it was great talking to you guys. Um, I believe that, as I've mentioned, we're going to have, we're going to continue having this regular AMA with different people in our team, um, introducing new people, announcing new partnerships, announcing new, um, new things that happen inside of our company. That's always very important. Um, so the more, the more you ask, obviously, well, uh, there we go. So more, even, even more hashtags coming out there. So that's great. Um, so I, don't see any more questions uh, at this time, I believe, because there was still uh, more information uh, coming, you know, coming up um, at you guys. So, uh, you know, what, what we can do is that, again, please let me know what you think about this. We can actually host our AMAs a bit, uh, you know, a bit sooner. So there's going to be a shorter delay between AMAs, but then they're going to be a bit shorter, you know, for us to be able to cover um, that part of the information that comes up with them, you know, since the last AMA. Um, I say was it. So thank you very much, guys. Um, thank you for uh, you know for talking to me. Uh, I'm glad that I was able to talk to you guys and communicate. Uh, it was a little while uh, since you saw me last time. So, anyways, um, thank you very much. Thanks, everyone. Bye.